Okay, um, dealing with women on Cool Mom Records, um, I guess, you know, I could be asked to explain why we've got a thing called Cool Mom Records or why it's called Cool Mom Records or why I'm focusing on so-called empowering of women and uh, women in general and all of that. And to me, it's, uh, I turn the question around, like, why would you ask such a question? That's how serious this is. I mean, if anybody was to ask you why we wanted to look at the gender issue in any form, any manner, for whatever reason, you know, the huge question would be like, why not? Like, can't you see how lost you are to even ask a question like that? So what I'm dealing with here is beyond what people call empowerment or even acknowledgement. You know, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's how fundamental it is. I would find it very strange if I was not doing what I'm doing right now. I'd find it strange if I was not paying attention to women as the situation demands. Women are demanding, so it would be strange to even be able to resist the demands of women. You can't. Uh, women have needs and it's impossible to ignore the needs of women and it's stupid to try. So what, what I see is a world that actually does try to ignore what women are really saying and tries to influence what women should be saying and how they should be saying it or what they should be wearing and how they should be wearing it, how, how they should, what they should be feeling and how, how they should be feeling it and all that type of thing. So I see more of a force that works against the course of nature, the course of the whole reason why women are here. And that is unhealthy because that type of force is not just going to fight against women, it's going to fight against all of us and life in general. So that's why we've got to be able to nip it in the bud before it gets any notion of being something other than what it is. You know, like that question, which seems like a simple question, like why would you want to deal with women's empowerment when you're a man or whatever? I mean, everybody should be interested in women's so-called empowerment or acknowledging the women's role, not just men. You know, even frogs and cockroaches and leeches and... And, and dogs and donkeys and giraffes, every, everybody should be interested in that because, because we need to have that type of interest for each other. Um, so th this is a huge sociological question and uh, it is so huge. We're dealing with half the world's population. We're dealing with, with, with a serious force. You know, we're dealing with a presence that <laughs> we could not deal without, you know, live without so fundamental that if you're to see a country like Denmark, for example, where women are paid slightly less for the same job as men, you really have to question where the mentality comes from to think like that and to plan like that and to place women there like that, you know, and it is, uh, it is of huge concern because it most, most probably comes from men. So it's a huge problem for me as a man to know that that type of attitude exists because it says a lot about how we think as men, you know? And I, I don't want to be that man or that person who, who, who endorses that in any form, any manner, you know? I, um, and why? Because I respect myself. So in the end, what I'm doing is not so much it's not so much for the women, it's more for my own self-respect. It's more like, um, I don't want to be in that group of people. Remember the Me Too uh, campaign. The Me Too campaign was, was a huge eye-opener for me. And it, um, it shook me up. It shook me up because up until that point, I had certain type of tendencies and certain type of attitudes that, which I thought were normal. And then as friend after friend on Facebook <laughs> was saying me too and, and they told stories and, and some of these are, are, are women who I, I admire and respect and, um, and when, I, when I saw them write their stories, brave enough to write their stories and say certain things about it, I had to question myself, you know, I had to think of, oh, you know, that time when I said this or that time when I made that remark, especially when I'm on the street playing music, um, 
you like a comedian, for example. You know, when you're a comedian, you kind of like pick on people and find um, subject matter, especially when you're improvising music, because you play on the street, you like the interactivity and you like people to kind of like feel that, wow, it's a moment of creativity and you're making up stuff. So um, women, uh, sexy girls tend to be, you know, easy thing to deal with. And also it's kind of like a license for you to, to say something because, well, it's in the format of music or whatever. And, you know, I mean, there was times when I was in London and you'd have uh, girls coming down the steps to where I was playing music. And it's like, you just see them, you see the legs and you scream, legs, legs. And everybody goes crazy because like you're playing this rock metal stuff and whatever, and you're in the middle of something serious. And then you see the legs and you go, legs. You know, it's kind of like comic, but it's also on the verge because you really don't know uh, whether the girl uh, is happy about that. I mean, and, and you, to defend yourself as a man, you kind of like say that, well, well, if you know, if, if they don't want that, they should not be showing their legs in the first place or whatever. That's not true. If a woman wanted to walk butt naked, walk all around and show everything but naked it's none of your business you, you don't give your license to 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 stare too long to look to touch and to make any kind of of comment because that is her body and this is her planet you know so when you're able to see that type of respect and and to kind of like give it to others then you automatically are creating that type of respect for yourself too, you know? And uh, that is the reason why I'm doing Cool Mom Records, you know? Recognizing um, what we can do as men in order to actually have a planet where women have the space. The space to decide, even on our most important decisions as men, because Cool Mom Records gives that kind of structure where um, things have to be approved by women or it has to be run by them. No matter how big it is, it must be run by them and they must come and say that, hey, look, you know, this is good or this is not good, you know. Um, having, working with that type of thing, you are actually redeeming yourself. So, I mean, I'd say to all the men who are involved in Cool Mom Records that this, this is a, you know, we're dealing with redemption songs, as, as Bob Marley said, redemption times. This is a redemptive activity for us as males to be involved with Cool Mom Records, to be involved in a structure that's going to say, we're going to give our very best as a man to a structure, but we're not going to run, run off with the decisions. We're going to say, look, before we go ahead, let the women have a look at this and say whether they should go ahead or not. You know, and... I think it's very important that women are given that. You always check with the wife. I don't think, I don't care how big you are, how important you are, um, the CEO or whatever and everything, you know, I mean, everybody knows that you gotta go home and check with the wife and then what the wife says is really what's gonna matter. And we need that to be central and fundamental to our society and to all our business activities, all our decisions, political decisions and everything. We need that because, I mean, that the, the women's decision is, is what nurtures us, okay? So talking about the same thing with the, with the young lady the other day, she was like, well, you know, she kind of like shut my thing down and goes like, um you kind of like saying that women are better than men and better decision makers than men, where, whereas people are just as bad, you know? I mean, whether the men are, men are female, male or female, they're, they're just as evil and just as good. So it's, it's not necessarily going to be a best quality, um, best quality uh, decision because it was done by women, you know? Uh, and obviously she's right. And also the whole notion of saying that, well, women will not really send children into war and whatever but you know women are also very jealous creatures and they just might want to <laughs> they just might want to send an army to go deal with the women on the other side of and the other country you know what i'm saying so i said fair enough you've got a point but here's my thing we haven't tried this yet it hasn't been tried you know we've had uh an entire existence on the planet 
where it's been done the other way by men's decisions and we haven't tried this yet and looking at the challenges we have and the imbalances in the world we need to give it a chance and we need to give it like the strongest chance we can because if at any point we adopt the idea or the notion or the statute that we are equal as human beings then it's time to really practice and institutionalize that equality you know and that's what cool mom record seeks to do and um, that's, that's as simple as that really you know so it is based on i would not say women empowerment i hate that word first of all no person really has the power to empower somebody else because i mean everybody's subject to heart failure everybody can be subject to heart attack everybody can be subject to you know life life as we know it as it flows through our lives our, our veins and everything who empowers us to live who empowers us to think to breathe you know that same empowerment is the same for everybody so the true empowerment in life in life is life itself and the source of life so that illusion of women empowerment you know it's one more of those sicknesses those cancers that we build to have some kind of like conditioned perspective on on reality it's a sickness it's a madness and it leads to war because you have a basis for perception that is false and once it's false it's at some point or other coming gonna con gonna come into confrontation or conflict with the truth and so that's why we can't deal I, I hate the word women empowerment i would never say cool mom records about women empowerment it, it's about recognizing each other acknowledging each other not men acknowledging women but acknowledging each other and acknowledging yourself you know and knowing that these are my boundaries, these are your boundaries, these are my possibilities, and this is what we can do together, basically. You know, so that's that's the basic philosophy in, in Cool Mom Records. I'll not make it more important than that. It's something that I, I, I um it's something that I'm I'm lucky to be married. It's very lucky to be married because I mean you can have girlfriends and boyfriends and break up and all that kind of stuff and um but if the things you're dealing with are serious, then marriage is important um, because then you kind of like have to work things out, you know, because m uh, uh, marriage is a reflection of you. Marriage is a reflection of your behavior and your commitment. So that's exactly the point I'm trying to make that, you know, it really is about yourself and your commitment to your standards, your standards of morality, activities, uh, forgiveness intelligence uh work ethic you know all those things that's what cool mom records really is you know so um it really is about the self absolutely the self and it is a strange self that does not recognize their parents as a whole and a very strange self that does not recognize their mother because you know it's crazy now to recognize your mother when you spend your first nine months inside of your mother. You know, I don't recognize this government. I don't recognize this womb. <laughs> this womb does not exist for me. I know I may be in it and it's feeding me. I don't recognize this breast. <laughs> I don't recognize this milk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Crazy. 